Hello, how are you? Good, it's hot. I always complain about it when it's hot, but it's hot everywhere. It's summer, it's July. You know, I don't like July, I don't like August. Except I do like August because we seem to knit things in August that we'll get to that. Show me your shirt. Welcome. Welcome. Welcome, I'm Jana with Pearl Together. This is Jill, my podcast partner in Illinois. With her Yay. cool knit something t-shirt. <laughs> yeah, and the knit fast die warm. Love it. Yes, there we go. I don't even know how warm it was here, but it's the Midwest. Little bit of heat. Uh, yeah, don't like it, but that's all right. It makes me feel better that we always knit felted clogs in August. We'll get to that in a minute because we have kind of a new plan for everyone this year regarding that, and it's going to be lots of fun. But first, let's talk about whips and fobs. Whips and fobs. What a, I see something new in your background. Look at that. Oh my gosh. I love it so much. Oh, and there's the other new thing in the background. <laughs> Look, he fell asleep. I won't wake him because he's a little hellion. But that's sweet baby James. If people haven't watched the podcast, he's a little abandoned barn kitty. I found a pile of kittens and he had his eyes all stuck shut and his nose was gooby. And so, you know, I pick him up and I wetted my into my corner of my shirt in the stock tank. And I like, you know, cleaned his face up and whatever. And then I put him back. Well, his mama didn't like that. Didn't like that I'd messed oh. with him and touched him. So she took the other two and moved them and left them there. Oh no. It's totally my fault. And she's like a you know wild barn cat, right? Yeah. And so and then I haven't seen the other two since. Oh, I've no. seen her. No, I mean they're around. I Okay. My kids have seen traces of them or a fleeting tail here and there, you know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah, but she's hidden them really well and she didn't come. I mean, we waited. We waited like almost 48 hours. And I'm like, we got to feed him. Oh, he hasn't. He's yeah. like, oh. you know, and that's when I first posted on my Instagram and we brought him in. And <laughs> and now he's sweet baby James and he's spoiled rotten. And he sleeps with me in the bed at night. And he loves the dog and he eats canned kitten food. And he, <laughs> oh my gosh, he just happy. looks so sweet. What is he sleeping on? <laughs> So I'm not really much of a scarf wearer, but I have a video series about when we all learned how to do brioche. I was going to say, it looks like brioche. It is. He's, He's sleeping like, on brioche. What a pampered little kitten. Yeah, he is. And then underneath this is a scrappy, a scrappy blanket thing that's in progress, but. Because brioche is so yeah. cushy. Yeah. And he's, that's what he's on. Two color brioche scarf. That was kind of. Please. That's hilarious. You weren't sure what you were going to do with it. See? So James is napping at the moment. That's so funny. Right. Like we needed another cat <laughs> in the house. <laughs> but my husband is like, James, he thought he thinks he's great. Will's just all about it. He's he like, well, that's fantastic. It's so funny because, and he's so tiny next to Peanut. <laughs> Oh my gosh. They look, they look similar. So sweater is done. Oh Dude, my gosh. It turned out so well. Thank you. Thank oh you. Oh my gosh. The last time she actually tried it on was when I was knitting the first sleeve. We were just checking length of that first sleeve. Mm -hmm. And then for the second sleeve, I mean, I just counted the stripes. So there were, you know, right. I will say in the interest of full disclosure, people in the video will notice that the bottom Okay, the neckline is the white. The bottom of the sleeve is is the the white. The bottom of the sweater itself is gray. Because it's a gauge issue on my part. To be truthful, I played yarn chicken with the last sleeve. Oh, I already no. knitted the body. I had knitted the body. The ribbing on the the ribbing at the bottom was white. I I, I was done. Mm -hmm. And I got down to like the last six stripes and I'm like, I'm not going to have enough white. I'm really, really not. But this sweater was really long. 
And, and I had done it longer than the pattern called for. So I had already <laughs> knitted like an extra one or two, which, and my row gauge was slightly off. And my kid has long arms. <laughs> so all of these things combined to my yarn chicken problem. And I, I didn't have enough to finish the sleeve. So I thought, well, I'll just take out that ribbing, you know, that six rows at the bottom of the ribbing, then I'll have enough to finish the sleeve. And it, and I did, and it was fine. And, but that's how come the bottom is not white. It's gray, but I had knitted it a little longer and it was like, you know, an inch. Mm -hmm. So it's fine. Boss knitter, problem solver. That's how much I had left. Oh my goodness. After, you know, after I tore out the ribbing and re-knitted the bottom. Yeah. So I'm still working on mine because I finished one <laughs> <laughs> because you're knitting two sweaters at once. That's a lot. I'm still working on it. It's all right. I'm, I'm doing the ribbing at the body now at the bottom. Oh, look at it. So I'm at the bottom. You are so close. Yeah. And then I'll make my sleeves and that'll be fun. And I'll have it to wear to retreat. Oh, that'll be wonderful. It'll be neat to see everybody's sweaters at retreat. Yes. Yes. Speaking of retreat, if people don't know about it, we'll put the links down below, but we're having an in-person event in Ogden, Utah, September 29th through August 2nd. Then we're having a virtual version of this event, October 21st, 22nd, 23rd. So I'll put the links down below. So it's the same content. It's called the Sock Summit, and it's all about knitting socks. And it'll be the same content in both venues but yeah we decided to do a virtual version this year too so people can't make it to ogden utah so which is so pretty and so much fun and there will be fantastic swag either way i will mail you your swag box if you're attending the virtual event but you get to see us all in person if you come to ogden and we have legs i know remember that was so funny that was the first thing I said when I met you. You have legs. Yes. I'm not just an internet person. I'm a real human with legs. Ah, Two of them. <laughs> <laughs> right. So fun. That'll be lots of fun. So I'll put the links to that down below if people are interested in reading more about that. And of course, we have lots of socks going on here. Lots of socks. I finally got my June ones done and put them on my instagram they were fantastic oh my gosh i love the contrast and how they worked so well with the sock they looked fantastic and it really i mean i didn't know if i wanted to use the contrast and i know i know several people decided not to but i was glad i did in the end it kind of oh i did too. i was really glad you used it too it really yeah. really popped yeah. it was fantastic i know here i am talking about it and i'll edit in a picture because my kid took them they were hers and they're i don't have them in my hand that's wonderful but i'll edit in a picture right here so you can see what we're talking about i think i showed mine last time yeah because yeah. they're not in my basket i have a basket behind me where i put everything and i don't wear it or use it until until after we show it until after we show it. So I just look in the basket and see what's there. And then when we're going to podcast, it all comes out on my table. Yeah. So I was knitting two sweaters and I have not finished May's, but I will. But I will. And I haven't cast on July. I'm so behind. No, 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 no. There is no behind. You are the one that taught me that too. You are making two sweaters. I'll get to it. We knit what we want. We can show it. We can show it. Oh. It's so pretty. Tequila sunrise. <laughs> na, 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 <laughs> That's what Karen said. It needed to be named. Look yeah. at you. Look at you. I'm going to make shorties this time, I think. That's my daughter claimed it. And so my daughter, even with the decay ones, likes them a little bit shorter. So these, since these are for her, that's how they were knit. Nah. So that's why I was a little bit faster this time. Because we have smaller feet than we do. <clears throat> Very much so. It was fun to knit. It really was. Cool. Yeah. 
So I want to talk. Can I talk about last year's June sock? Okay. So yes. this is the colorway from last June. Sock Club in fingering, not decay, from last June 2021. Lauren and a girl in her wool. Same club. So I'm I'm I wasn't sure what I wanted to do with it, but then I'm knitting this for my daughter's English teacher. And this isn't the mini it came with, it's the mini that she picked to go with it. Cause I gave her like several choices. Mm -hmm. That one came with a green one because it was a tulip, it, like a flower-based yeah. inspiration photo. Yeah. But she, but my friend, my daughter's teacher, picked this to go with it. And then I'm doing the fish lips kiss heel. But I can't, I've been thinking, I've been noodling around this for quite a while. I've been thinking. Well, how could you do the slip stitch reinforcement on the fish slips kiss? It can't be that hard, right? It's not. We'll talk about it at Sock Summit because, right? Reinforcing your heels is good, but check it out. Look at that. That looks so good. Yeah. So that's I have partridge on fish slips kiss. So when you, when you do all the abbreviations, it's like FLK and EOP. <laughs> like, <laughs> only a knitter would know these things. So that's number one. And then I've just done the like vanilla latte pattern, just that broken rib, right? I like that. So, it looks really good. Yeah. I got distracted for a minute because sweet baby James like stretched oh, and yeah. moved and now he is all settled back in again. He's like this with his little paws crossed. He's laying on his side. He's so sweet. I would like to sleep on a bed of brioche. <laughs> no, a brioche blanket would be... Okay, I'm not even going to do that. <laughs> I mean, I appreciate the aesthetics and how it feels, but brioche is not my favorite. It's just not my favorite thing to knit. A lot mm -hmm. of people truly really love it. Awesome. It's just not my thing. That's okay. I didn't make it through the hat. <laughs> I didn't even make it through the hat. It's okay. No, Lindsay and I two hats. I didn't even make it through. I didn't even make it through one hat. It's all right. It's okay if it's not your jam. It's okay. Right. So you have another sock that you said you have another sock to show? I do. I have finished my London London fog socks, which I, I adore. Now hold those closer because they look really gray, but when you move them up. It oh, no. Purple. They are the oh. most beautiful purple and black and gray. Love that. Yep. These I won, actually. Um, yes. I mean, yeah. Yeah. Lauren does an Instagram drawing. She does an Instagram drawing and I won an Instagram drawing and got to pick a skein of yarn. And I have had my eye on that colorway for a very long time. So I am super excited. I love and it. Nobody so else was going to be claiming that one. Nope. My daughter does not get those. Those fit me. Nice. Nice. Yeah. So I know it was the I've had those socks going for a while um it's okay. I knit my one a month and then kind of pick it up so it was nice to have two finishes in a row you know when you feel like you don't finish anything for a long time then it's like boom 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 so that's yeah, well, yeah I got done a sweater and a pair of socks crazy that was exciting that's a lot yeah this I'm still working on this this is May's this is number two this was from May and I just started on the sweater thing and I didn't make it. And then I went backpacking and I just didn't make it. This is number two. So I love that color. What's the pattern you're doing? Oh, it's the same thing. It's just my normal broken rib thing, toe up, fish lips kiss, same thing. Mm. But I'm going to cast on these. I want to get these done for July. Even if the May ones sit for a while, that's okay. I want to get these done for July. Did you do that? That's what... Oh. I am working on these. Ooh. Um, I know. I love them so much. What is that? That's the glacier something? These are the glacier socks. This is from Polka Dot Sheep. Okay. And it's in Whitefish, Montana, local right. yarn store there. And they dye their own yarn there. And it had no name. It was a, literally a no-name colorway, but it reminded me so much of Glacier National. So I got oh, these all the way yeah, back that in was 2000. Souvenir. It was. It was my souvenir from the best vacation ever. Um, and I started knitting them, and I knit them on a needle that was a little bit too big. Right. Um, Remember that. So I, But I loved them so much, so I really wanted them to fit. And to wear well so i ripped them out and started a little bit smaller 
and that's better. It's more durable fabric that way. It is. So I have hit my heel flap. That's where I'm at right now. And after doing um, so many DK socks for so long, wow, it feels like I'm knitting with string and toothpicks. These but are, I like it. I still good. like it. Fingering is still my gauge of choice. It is. I, I, in fact, I switched my subscription back to finger. Did I did. I did because I have several pair of DK socks now for winter. And you know, when it's colder, I mean, I'm going to have like, I started the DK socks in December. So December, January, March, April, May, June, July. So that's eight pair. Well, they're not all for me. Probably six of them, five or six of them were for me. The others are given away. Mm -hmm. So I'm like, I think I'm going to go back to fingering weight. So I switched, I switched back. So we'll see if I can keep up still. <laughs> I don't know. I, you gotta knit what you like. You gotta knit what you're gonna wear. You know. That's exactly it. I would like to do some fingering weight shorties to wear in the summer. I just yeah, have a couple yeah. pair, and, and I would why, like to wear knit socks all year round. Well, right. So we'll see. But I love knitting with the DK. So I know, but I want to wear them year round also. So that was why I went ahead and switched back because I'm like, well, I know I'm gonna wear them more if they're fingering than if they're DK. Mm -hmm. So I'm excited. So my switch starts now, starts for August. Oh, fun. Oh my gosh. And the, the inspiration picture that she had, I liked so much. I know. So much yarn, so little time. Because I thought, oh, her little mystery mini skeins, this would be a great one to do that. And then you could do stripey socks. But I am, um, no, no. I still have a couple skeins sitting across from me right now that I need to knit up the third anniversary self-striping. Okay. Yeah, yeah. I haven't started those yet. I'm not starting those. I am not starting it until these are done. 2019 was the vacation. Okay. It's time. It is. And let's talk about what we're doing next on the channel together. Okay. You go ahead. Because it's all, it was because you, it was because you said August is for clogs. You said it's August. What are we going to do in August? And I said, in August, we do clogs. So we decided we're going to have a clog vlog. <laughs> we're going to vlog about clogs. So Jill and I are going to knit clogs together and show you each week how far we've gotten. We're going to do it in sections. So I've already completed a playlist. I've already done a video tutorial for the felted clog pattern. So we'll post the video and then we'll post the clog vlog. And you can just knit along with us. Oh, and so we're gonna be fun. Yes. The last time we did clogs in August, um, Miss Karen knit eight pair. Because Christmas, I guess. And that's they the thing. They are fantastic. Christmas. Yes. Because you kind of knit the size in the ballpark and then you can felt them for the person even after you give them to them or give them instructions to felt them or whatever. But there's a video for how to felt them as well. So let's see the last pair that you knit. I mean, they're ready. They're kind of ready, aren't they? Well, they, and that's why I was, I was thinking I, and Lindsay knit these for me. So these are the last pair that I have. They hold up, they, they do, this part holds up really well. They are loved. Like I, I wear my clogs a lot. <laughs> so I think there's my finger I, and I wear them until you can start to see fingers. When you can start to see through them, then I know it's time. Then they'll start to shed a little bit, but. Yeah. And there's, that's two layers of felted wool. Cause you have the inner sole and the outer sole. That's two layers. Mine are doing, uh-huh. Mine are done done these were the that. ones these are the ones i knitted for the playlist video so two years two winters of hard use because you know, we have hard we have hard floors and it's cold and it you know yeah i wear uh, mine all the time i i pretty much live in them what are you going to do with yours because you know what i cannot bear for him to hit the dumpster you know what i'm going to do what are you going to do? This is what I want to do. We'll see if I get to it. What I want to do is, because this is pretty durable up here. 
where, mm -hmm. where you have the edging and the, I'm going to take a nail, I think, and I'm going to drive a couple of nails through here and put them on the fence, put a bunch of dirt in there and plant flowers. Oh. Because the wool will wick up the water and it'll, we live in a very dry, very, very dry climate. So I just felt like, well, I could plant like some kind of trailing baskety kind of thing in there. And then the water would hold in the wool. Uh-huh. No, be, I think the last time I'll just put them on you my fan. had a video playlist, you asked what you were going to do. Cause didn't you talk about like a bird's nest or something? Yeah, maybe. I don't know. I'm just okay. Talking. So people can help us put in the comments below what Jana should do with but her clogs. I don't know. I hesitate to do the bird's nest thing because you know, you've, when they start picking at it, that's probably not good. Oh, very true. Because the yarn, yeah. So I might just stick them on the fence and plant something in them. <laughs> Why not? Oh, fun, 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 fun. Like, yeah. Hmm. See, and the, the, I guess what I like about it is each year somebody new will get a pair and then they wear through them like this. My dad's has one more year. So this isn't a year for my dad, but I did give two friends who have super tiny feet. <laughs> they had theirs three years ago. So I'm thinking that theirs are getting oh, a feet. little bit worn. Yes. So unless they don't wear them as much as we do. I don't know. One of them does. She talked about putting duct tape on the bottom because it was <laughs> starting to go through. So, and I know that you can do the soles. I mean, you can you can purchase soles and do it that way. I like these. I just you I can. Like I tell you, you can you can purchase suede soles and put them on like before you get to this point. I, and you can technically you could knit another sole, felt it, and then sew it on. You could. But I, but by the time I've worn through them, I'm like ready for new colors. I mm -hmm. mean, I'm, you know, I kind of want, right. Mm -hmm. So what yarn have you chosen? And they, they have a little bit of wear. Um, when we first talked about it, I ordered some yarn. I, I'll have to show you at some point in time. I have a, like a tub of like all of my leftovers because you knit a bunch of pair and then you do things like this one. That's, um because you hold the strands double. This is one light pink and one pink. Right. Yeah, to make that that. So I typically do my soles in either a light gray or a dark gray, Right. which I don't have the dark gray with me. And then this time I ordered oh. one like that. Wow. I like that. It's called turtle. And I just use Cascade 220. And this one, look at that Ooh. one. I know it's a pinky pink nice so let's talk about that for a second so each each of your skeins is how many yards each oh 220 because it's cascade 220 this is 210 um i think the one i used before was like 190 something mm -hmm. anyway these 100% worst, 100% wool, not a blend. It must be 100% wool in order to felt. So for viewers, know that this is Plymouth Galway. I'll put a link down below if you want to order this through my affiliate link from Needlepoint Joint. You can do that or just get a hold of Cascade 220 or uh, Lion Brand has a classic wool that you can find like at Michael's, I think, or maybe even Joanne's or I don't know. Mm -hmm. um, Paton, P-A-T-O-N. Yep, Joanne's has that. They make a classic wool that's 100% worsted in. Anyway, they're all right around 200 yards. You will need double the amount for the soles because you're knitting a double sole. There are two soles. The top of the foot really doesn't take that much. It really doesn't take that much. Maybe, maybe one. Mm -hmm. And then you'll need two, depending on the size you're making. Obviously, you'll need at least two for the soles because it's two layers and then also the you know the bumper edges and then the cuff so check the yardages but i just wanted to point that out that you got to have 100 percent not washable wool yes in order to felt it so yes so speaking of leftovers do you, do you want to see my tub 
Yes. Okay. So actually, I thought it was cool. Maybe it's just a little bit embarrassing. It's not. Like, do you have? Well, a, but it's problem? organized. You have Ziplocs and everything. Well, because so this is the patents from Joanne. Right. Right. And my local yarn store. Uh, well, and this is Cascade Two Twenty. Okay. And then my local yarn store carries the Ella Ray. Right. And um, and then this is the Ella Ray as well. So when using leftovers, I have a knitter friend who used leftovers from different brands. Yeah, I've done that. Yeah. Um, hers turned out looking like the sorting hat from Harry Potter. It just did not felt at the same and, rate. And they don't, they don't always. Yeah. I would not recommend doing that. I have, but if you want to try that, do a swatch first, mm -hmm. do a swatch first. And, and the pattern will tell you we're holding double worsted. You're holding it double. Or if you're using bulky, which I've done that too, then it's just oh. one strand. That's fine. But if you're going to do that and you're going to divert and use two different brands, just do a swatch and, you know, do half the swatch in one brand, half the swatch in another, and then, then felt it and see, and see if it shrinks at the same rate. Yeah. May not. Yeah. But don't so knit the whole thing and then be like, oh, bummer. <laughs> I know that would be terrible. Although I will say, and I know that we'll talk about this in the end, you do get to do a little bit of shaping at the end. Yeah. Oh yeah, for sure. So. Yeah. I have lots of scraps and speaking of which. <clears throat> it's like the size of a basketball. What, 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 what is that? Dear well, friend. Okay. This, I think if I recall, this is bulky and it's lamb's pride from Brown Sheep Company. This was a 4-H project from one of my kids that ended up being frogged and rather than rather than you know why did it in some manageable amount <laughs> said child just kept <laughs> that's hilarious so uh, mm -hmm. i have a lot of green here <laughs> <laughs> that's like bigger than your head yeah. Oh, yeah. That's a contest within itself. How much does the big ball of green weigh? A lot. And and I'm like, okay, you know how we like to use yarn bowls? I'm going to have to go find like the giant stainless steel popcorn bowl to handle this while I'm working from it. That's hilarious. It could run over the cats. Or baby James. He'd be like, bloop. <laughs> It's like three times his size. That's hilarious. So, I mean, you know, I should probably start using some of this, right? So is that what you're going to knit with? Why not? Is it worsted or, or is it a thicker yarn? I think it's bulky. Okay. That'll be fun. I've not ever tried one with a single thing of bulky. Oh yeah, I have several times. Fun. Yeah. But then I don't know, what am I going to use for the sole? Because I don't necessarily want to do different brands. Although, oh. I'm going to have to go hunt through my scrap bin and see what do I have that's maybe the same brand that would go with this. Mm -hmm. That's also like fun when you start to get a bin going. Or I'll just abandon the basketball yarn and I don't know yet. I don't know yet. Oh, there's, there's, well, see, you know how I said, I always do my soles because then, because then when I have partial skeins, I always know what I've got. So this is the dark gray that I use. Nice. I looked that in my other good. bin and then this is the light gray. That dark gray would look good with my basketball yarn. <laughs> it would. <laughs> it would. Although, although they would, I mean, I would definitely need to swatch. It would felt at different rates. Yeah. yeah. Like, and then I have like leftovers from yeah these Ooh. never made it to the leftover bin these are just in the other one so that's a purpley and you know what i do sometimes is i take all the leftovers and sometimes i'll just make stripy ones 
and like make monster ones that are like all just crazy different you know, fun you know what i mean they don't have to all like mm-hmm. be coherent yeah no i like to i like to take one it. strand of one and one strand of another yeah, yeah it's fun I really like that yeah cool and then have it's you so seen fun. how people like embroider cute little things on the top of the foot yes one of my friends did that or did they embroider or did they needle felt she needle felted nice yeah yeah so this clog vlog is going to kick (laughs) off on this knit along for felted clogs will begin august 2nd will be the first of the clog vlog series so i'll put you know i'll repost the links to the instruction videos and we'll chat and we're going to knit along together. And you can get ahead of the game for winter. Yes. And you can be Cold like Karen and do coming. eight pair. <laughs> or nine or 11 or however many it was ridiculous. They, uh, they're kind of addicting. Yeah. They really are. And they go they're, fast. You could, once you get the, wing of of the pattern, you can totally do it in like a weekend. Mm-hmm. Oh, I mean, that's if you have some kitchen table time, but yeah, you could. Yes. They're so much fun. So much fun. Nice. So join us August 2nd for the first of the clog vlog. In the meantime, download your pattern. Put the link down below. Get a hold of your yarn. I'll put links for that. Go to Michael's or Joanne's or wherever it is. Or you can order through Needlepoint Joint if you want to. They are very helpful. All right. Thanks for joining me. (laughs) <laughs> Thank you for having me. It was lovely. I'm excited about our clog vlog. It'll be it'll be a lot of fun. Yeah. It'll All right. I'll see you next time then. Okay. okay. Sounds good. Bye. Bye.